Have you just switched your mobile phone and now you're looking to transfer your WhatsApp messages from Android to iPhone? If yes, then you are absolutely at the right place. What is up everybody? My name is Seth and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys two methods for transferring WhatsApp messages from Android to iPhone. You can also follow this video guide if you're interested in doing the opposite as well. Also guys, I'm very excited to share with you a very good news. I'm going to talk about that later down the video. But first guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please go ahead and do that and if you're gonna press the bell icon I'm gonna send you a notification every time I upload a brand new video just like this one Alright, for the first method guys, you need to have yourself logged in with the same email of yours on both of your devices because that's the route through which our WhatsApp messages will be transferred. Alright, on your Android phone, go ahead and open up WhatsApp. Next, get inside of the chat which you are looking to transfer. In my case, I've got only one conversation over here and as you can see, I've got a ton of messages including photos, videos, text messages, documents and etc. All right, now what you need to do is tap on these three dots up at the top right corner, then tap on more. After that, you will see export chat option. Tap on it and WhatsApp will ask you whether you would like to export your WhatsApp messages with or without media. Now, for the sake of this video, I'm gonna be going with the include media option. All right, after that, I'll choose the Gmail app for sending the email. Now, for some reason, if you guys don't have the Gmail app on your phone, you can also go with a default default app that comes along your mobile phone. Now over here, let me type in my email address real quick and send the email. All right, now that the email has been sent, let me move over to my iPhone to see what I have got over there. Okay, so here as you can see guys, we have gotten the WhatsApp email and inside of that, I have got all the media files that I had on my Android phone's WhatsApp as attachments. Now you might be thinking, all right, if you have gotten the media files, but where is the WhatsApp chat? Well, it is compiled up into this text file which goes by the name WhatsApp chat. Now, I would recommend you guys to open this text file into a separate text editor, otherwise you won't be able to read the text messages properly due to the messed up format. Now guys, it's time to talk about the limitations of this method. Well, you can import this data of the email inside of the WhatsApp app on your iPhone. Moreover, you cannot send multiple chats within a single email. You can only email each chat individually. I know this might sound a little disappointing, but currently that's the only free method that we have at our disposal. Now, coming over to our next method, guys. Well, since it's a paid method, you will be able to successfully transfer all of your WhatsApp messages with the attachments to your WhatsApp app present onto your iPhone. Now for this method guys, we're gonna be using a third party application, iCare Phone app by Tenosure. I'm gonna provide a download link to this software down in the description of this video, so make sure to check that out. This app is also compatible with both Windows and Mac. I'm gonna talk more about Tenosure later down the video, but first, let's head over to the process. Now guys, on my iPhone, unlike my Android device, I've got a ton of messages on my WhatsApp, there is more than 7 gigabytes of WhatsApp data that's currently all stored up on my phone. But for the sake of this video, I'll go ahead and get rid of all of that by completely deleting the WhatsApp app. Now, once the app has been deleted, I'm going to go ahead and install the app again from the App Store just so I can start from the very scratch. All right, coming over to the PC, once you have installed the app, go ahead and open it up. Now, the very first thing that you need to take a look at is whether or not any update is available to this app. And that you can check by tapping these three lines up at the top right corner and then clicking check for updates button. Now, the reason why you need to keep yourself updated is because WhatsApp keeps rolling out its updates every once in a while. And if you are not updated, that can hamper the process of WhatsApp data transfer. All right. Coming back to the app, well, you can not only transfer WhatsApp messages, but also messages from different social media apps, including WeChat and Line Messenger. For the sake of this video, I'll be going with WhatsApp Messenger only, so I'm going to tap on it. Now over here guys, we've got three options. So we can transfer the messages between our devices, we can make WhatsApp backup straight to the PC, and lastly, we can view it as well as restore it from our PC. All this stuff really makes me appreciate this wonderful app, considering the fact that how user-friendly it is made. All right, now to transfer the WhatsApp messages from Android to iPhone, you have to first connect your Android device as a source device with your PC. After that, go ahead and connect your iPhone. 
Now on the iCare phone app, you will get the pop-up telling you to turn on the USB debugging on your Android phone. Now the steps can differ for different Android phones to enable USB debugging, but don't worry, iCare phone app will guide you on how to do that for your specific Android phone. Since I am using Samsung Galaxy Note 5, this is what, what I'll do. I'll first get inside of the settings app, then inside of about phone, and over here I'll get inside of the software info. Now over here guys, you need to tap on the build number 7 times and that will enable the developer options on your phone. Alright, now you need to go all the way back and right at the very bottom you will find developer options. Tap on it and scroll a little down until you see USB debugging option. Simply enable that. Alright, now that both of your phones are connected with your PC, tap on the transfer button on the iCare phone app. The app will prompt you that the WhatsApp data present on your iPhone will be overwritten while going through the process. Simply tap on the continue button. Next, you will be instructed to create a backup of your WhatsApp on your source device. Now to do that, head over to your Android phone and then open up WhatsApp. Over here, tap on these three dots and select settings. After that, tap on chats and then chat backup. Now before you go on tapping this backup button, you need to make sure that Google Drive backups are turned off on your phone. If not, simply tap here and select never. Alright, after that, tap on the backup button. Now the app will start retrieving the WhatsApp data off of the source device. This can take time depending upon the size of data that you have on your phone. In the next step, you have to verify your WhatsApp backup account for data security. Simply putting the details of the phone number that is associated with your WhatsApp on your source device. You will receive a WhatsApp verification code on your source device, so put that up inside of the app. Now during the process guys, you will be locked out, out of your WhatsApp account on your Android phone, but make sure not to get your phone disconnected from your PC the entire time while the process is going on. Alright, getting ahead of the next step, iCare phone app will start generating the data that can be restored. Alright, in this step guys, you have to log inside of your WhatsApp account on your target phone before you go ahead tapping this locked in button on the app. If you are going to miss this step, you might not be able to restore your recently created backup. That being said, let me quickly go ahead and get logged inside of my account. Now guys, I want to put it straight that I'm actually added into a ton of groups, so don't get confused like how the hell so much stuff came inside of my WhatsApp right in the middle of the process. These are just the groups without any data inside of them. Now guys, if you have enabled find my iPhone option on your iPhone, you might get this prompt telling you to turn it off. It's quite simple to do so. iCare phone app will guide you on how to do it step by step. Since I had it already turned off, I didn't receive any such notification. So once you are done with that part, tap on the locked in button. Soon after that, the restoring process will begin. Now guys, depending upon the size of your WhatsApp data, the process of restoring might take a lot of time. Your iPhone will also restart for once along the road. Again, don't don't disconnect your iPhone while the process goes on as that can ruin the chat transfer process. Finally, once your iPhone has successfully booted up, go ahead and open up WhatsApp. All your chats will surely be transferred along with the old attachments that you had on your Android phone. As you can see clearly what I showed in the beginning of this video on my Android phone, I successfully have it over here on my iPhone now as well. Okay guys, now it's time to share with you the important stuff that I talked with you in the beginning of this video. Now as you already know, iCare phone app actually requires a paid license to function. Although the prices of different subscription plans for this software are not that much, I've still got a promo code for you which you can use to get massive discount on your purchase. Check the description down below to learn more about that. Also guys, in the commemoration of Thanksgiving and Black Friday, Tenosha is also giving away a lot of free stuff including coupons. They are even running a huge 70% discount on majority of their products so do check them out. Again, all the relevant links are provided down in the description of this video. So yeah guys, this wraps up the video. Hope you all enjoyed. If you have any questions, kindly let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you all next time.